Hey everybody, welcome to Wednesday's edition of Daily Grace. We're focused on this book all week because it's filled with seven principles that are scientifically proven to enhance our friendships. Seven of them. And I know that some of us are gonna say, I oh, mean, seven, that's, that's a big number, John. So we're beating the drum on just the first one. If you can't do all seven, okay. But how about just the first one? An open-ended question. If we fill our lives with open-ended questions, as opposed to statements, which we tend to do a lot, the open-ended questions will actually change our lives according to Gottman. So here's the gift question for today. You can ask your marriage partner or your friend, you could say, hey, tell me three things, three needs that you have and how I can meet them. Now, friendships, you might not feel comfortable wording it just like that. I'm not gonna say to some of my guy friends, hey buddy, tell me three needs that you have and how I can fulfill them. That just feels a little weird to me. But I can say, hey, tell me three things that you're working on. Tell me three things you're working on. So you can adapt it. But the basic idea here is, or what are the three things that your friend or your spouse is working on, and then what can you do about it? Right, there's the gift question for the day. All right, here is principle number five. Principle number five is to solve your solvable problems. There's two different categories of problems. There are solvable ones and there's perpetual ones. Now here's, a, here's an easy solve. The solvable ones are ones that aren't so intense. Uh, for instance, Gottman says in his books, and listen, you can Google this or go on YouTube, John Gottman's Seven Principles, all kinds of videos that will help to make sense and give you a fuller understanding of these principles. They're great. There's a lot of great videos on YouTube about this. But this is what he talks about in his book, and he actually talks about this on one of his YouTube videos about this. You got a couple, and the wife really wants the husband to be responsible every evening for taking out the trash because they live in a small apartment and the next morning the apartment smells, she, she has a nose that's very sensitive. I know this, my wife has a sensitive nose. I don't, okay? So she wakes up the next morning, it stinks, she gets frustrated with him. Okay, he says like solve the solvable problem, right? So here's how you solve an easy problem like that. You just simply write a note take out the trash, you put it on the refrigerator. Because the husband says, you know what, I want to, I'm not trying to make you mad, but my mind gets going on other stuff, and what, you know, what, what's playing on TV, who's playing on TV, I mean, or work, all that kind of stuff, you know, so, so I forget. So, could, yeah, so they come up with an easy solution. She puts the note on the refrigerator, he's like, voila, every night he remembers to take out the trash. So is there an easy way to solve the problem? I'm a list person, my wife isn't a list person. So we get frustrated on our day off when we take together to try to like do a lot of stuff around the house. I'm like, write a list. I don't need to write a list. It's all right here. Okay, that works for you, but a list works for me. And so we solve a solvable problem. Then there are perpetual problems. Even in great relationships, we only solve 31% of our problems. That means the majority of problems we don't solve. So when it comes to a perpetual problem, there's two categories. There are people who learn to cope with their differences, and there are people who learn to have contempt for their differences. This usually comes back to our personality. Now, I'm not talking about stuff, our differences, where one of the, somebody in the relationship lies to the other person. That's not what I'm talking about. I'm talking about one person's neat and one person's sloppy, that kind of stuff. Those things tend not to go away, but we can learn to cope. We can dialogue about them. And we're either gonna to learn to dialogue about them or we're gonna to learn to show contempt. And when we show contempt, it's gonna break down that relationship and it's not gonna be good. So, the thing to work on today is how can we dialogue about our perpetual problems and not allow them to break us apart? How can we accept each other? Jesus Christ, we're told, that even when we were still sinners, he loved us. Even when we were poisoning the relationship, he loved us. What can you do to work on your perpetual problems? Let's pray. Almighty God, we've got a lot of great people out there today with awesome friendships and awesome marriages, but we are dealing with these differences and their perpetual problems. Help us, Lord, to dialogue and to accept and figure out ways to solve some issues or to accept some issues. In Christ's name, amen. Thanks for being here today. See you tomorrow for Thursday's edition of Daily Grace.